In the heart of Chicago, a city immensely affected by gun violence, a powerful narrative unfolds, highlighting the unbreakable bonds of solidarity within the black community. The story dives into the collective resilience, support, and activism that emerges as the community confronts the harsh realities of violence. Through personal life stories, community actions, and the unwavering spirit of unity, this captures the essence of community that stands together, fights together, and heals together. The strength and hope that lie within their shared experiences. What are some of the biggest challenges you face in an area impacted by gun violence? Sending my children to school on an everyday basis alone, you know, not being there to walk with them side by side, um, just letting them play outside. Um, we live in a house that they never played in the backyard. Um, just hoping that they make the right decisions when it comes to choosing their friends and hoping that when they are confronted with a gun or face to face with a gun, that they, that they themselves make that um, wise decision of um, what to do and um, where to go and, and what not to do. My personal experience with gun violence in my neighborhood, well, I grew up in a rough neighborhood, so it was people being shot left and right. I guess as he gets older, um, I will explain more to him um, about staying safe due to the you know type of city we live in. I think what I would just tell him is just, um, I guess watch who he surrounds himself with and um, just try to encourage him to be independent, um, understand that he doesn't, you know, need a crowd to, you know, identify himself. And um, I, cause I feel like that's where it starts um, with gun violence is, you know, young boys join gangs because they're trying to find something um, to identify with and it goes from there. Um, so I allow them to see some of the news. I don't let it play all the time. I allow them to see, and as well, we hear. When, when they hear the sounds, I'm letting them know that, yes, those are gunfires. Those are gunfire sounds, and, and we need to get somewhere where we're protected. We need to get somewhere safe. I want to say that it drove a wedge in the community because people don't really know who they can trust and they don't want to go outside, even like to go to stores or get on buses anymore. So I think it, it drove a wedge in our community. It's almost like guns being put in our neighborhoods, it's like we don't have a choice. Like, um, it's they're, they're there and they're not going away. And if anybody needs or wants access to a gun, they can just get it easily from anywhere. So. It affects us black women because it's a safety issue. We can't go outside without the risk of being shot, at least in Chicago. So I guess it instills fear in us. And there's a lot more women that feel the need to carry a gun now because they have that fear. Um, I haven't had no other, um, how you can say, I haven't come across a resourceful place um, because I haven't been affected firsthand by gun violence or either have I sought out for that place. Um, my, spiritual, my spiritual connection with God has been getting me through and my family as well. He has been providing wisdom for me to keep my family safe or keep my family from going to and from these places. Maybe having more rallies more people speaking, more events in communities where gun violence is the highest, maybe more police patrol in the streets in the rough communities. How as a black mother do you think solidarity will keep black youth out of the streets? I believe that solidarity helped because it's all about the community. It's all about us being as one, fighting against our common enemy. We m have to stick together. We cannot be separate. We cannot only be so behind social media platforms or we can't be um, in the house all 
cooped up and not even knowing that grocery stores are being built or different types of um, organizations is forming or just we have to be in a know and we have to have that connection with one another and our children have to know these connections or we can easily break. Divided we fall, together we stand. I think it can make it better if, because if we come together we'll feel safer, we'll feel like we have a foundation or like a support system. So I think that it would rule out a lot of gun violence if people would stick together versus fighting. I think more fathers need to uh, take initiative in being in their son's lives, whether it's uh, taking a, the mom to court to get you know um, visitation rights. It's mainly like the men staying active in their children's lives because it's kind of like a, a cycle thing that's happening. Um, People see, they're probably seeing their dads in gangs, selling drugs or whatever, and then they're like following those footsteps, so, yeah. And my deepest of hearts want to share is that to not give up the fight, um, to not let those lives that has been sacrificed go in vain. Um, we still have work to do, um, and let's just put our best foot forward because soon this this will come to an end. Soon this plague will be broken. The uh, only thing we could do is try to maintain our mental health. I'm really big on maintaining the mental health, working on like what triggers us, and getting more in tune with emotion, being emotionally intelligent, in our children's life being more interactive, um, not only present or financially, um, but emotionally. I do feel like there's a lot of hope. I feel like there's more hope than it's less hope because I see communities growing. I see communities changing to becoming more diverse. I see uh, lands and lots being filled with buildings that um, homeless people or or those who um, who in desperate need of a home or of an affordable home that is nice can now um, be inside of and feel comfortable. I feel like all the stakeholders are now, you know, doing their part or playing that role in helping to com keep the community safe. Thank you. So in conclusion with my findings and my research, I've concluded that black women don't find much solidarity within themselves, whereas they fall in solidarity within their family members or their religious faith or their friends, people who are close to them. What do you guys think? Do you feel like there's solidarity among black women, maybe just not spread enough, not enough information about it? Me personally, I feel like there's a lot of work that can be done with building more of a tighter community among black women and gun violence victims. This is Alexa Bermudez with Street Level. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.